Hi everyone, my name is Costa, and today I'm gonna show you how to build this hero section carousel in Framer. And by the way, it is inspired by this Figma video, make sure to check it out. So let's get started. First, let's break down what I already have. So I have a stack and inside this stack I have two arrows, the right and the left one. Both of them are using position absolute. Next, I have a content stack which contains the text and the button. Its position is relative and it's using a distribute space between and it's aligned to the bottom. And then I have an image. On the side, I also have two more images. So next, I will select them both. I will press Ctrl C to copy. Then select the carousel card, right click and create a component. Paste the images inside. And next, let's delete these two breakpoints and create two new variants. First, I'm gonna change the gradient. So the second gradient is gonna be this yellow. Next, let's create a red gradient. So select the smooth in the second variant, move it up. Then select the yellow smoothie and paste it inside. Change the position to absolute. Center it. Let's make it bigger. Select the first smoothie and check the size. Now let's type in 494. And make sure that it's in this position. So next, so next let's check the first variant. Here we have uh, the yellow smoothie now. Let's put the image to visible and right now it's in the center. Therefore, we will move it down and now select the second variant. Select the yellow smoothie and move it up like this. And now let me do the third slide. So select the red smoothie, move the smoothie up. Then paste it inside, change the position to absolute. Once again, let's make it bigger by typing in 494. So it's gonna be the same size. Select the second variant and make sure that the red smoothie is visible and move it down like this. And next, let's select this arrow, the right arrow, and connect it to the second variant. Then select the left arrow from the second variant and drag it to the first variant. Let's select the right arrow and drag it to the red variant. Select the left arrow from the third variant and drag it to the second variant. Now this one right here, we are gonna drag it to the first variant. And the left arrow from the first variant, we are gonna drag it to the last variant. Next, I'm gonna type in green, change the position to absolute, make the text bigger something like this let's make it maybe bold decrease the letter spacing and change it to white then go to styles and then click on blending and here let's use soft light now in the second variant, I will type yellow and in the third one, I will type red. So next, what I'm going to do is select the breakpoint, click on transition and make sure that the bouncing is uh, six maybe. And the timing is going to be 0.8 seconds. Let's check it out. 
and voila guys that is how you create this type of carousel so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching see you next time